doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to another one of our Wednesday night Days Gone expert gameplay. Live stream series playthrough game? Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> hey, what's up, everybody? So, oh, man, I'm so fucking glad to be back on some Days Gone. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I miss this game when I'm not playing it. All right. So, Claire is around. Uh, the, my lovely partner in crime, Claire Weaver of the Days Gone podcast. She'll be along shortly to help me moderate the chat this evening. Uh, right now, she is currently dealing with a no-bed situation. Uh, once she gets that under control, she'll be along to help out with the chat. What's up, everybody? Who's with us tonight? Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. What's going on, Jeremy? How the hell are you, sir? Will Giles, what's up? And Deacon San John. Also, I need to say hello to Jay Stabby. Hello. And Psycho Ghost Rider. How the fuck are you, folks? What's going on? What do you say we play some mother flipping days gone? Yeah, yeah. It's great to see everybody tonight. Welcome back, y'all. All right, so we should be able to just continue right where we were. I have not played this since last week. Uh, I'm I'm actually still uh, recovering from a cold. The last night made like two weeks since I first started feeling sick. So I've literally been uh, fighting this fucking cold for two weeks now. Today is you know more than two weeks, day 15. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm feeling much better, but my voice is still a bit rough. Uh, my you know sinuses are still a bit congested and shit. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Last week we had to shut it down early because I felt fucking terrible. That's where I was going with that. I really was like very fucking sick last week. I was so sick that I literally could not just fucking play video games. That's how sick I was. Uh, all right. But uh, well enough to kill some shit in days gone. Oh, shit. Hey, I need to say hello to. Old Lady D Geek. Hello, ma'am. And also Darren Thompson. Uh, good morning, Darren. Hello and welcome, folks. Okay. Uh, I have no fucking idea where we were or what we were doing because I felt so fucking bad last week, man. Okay. Uh, I know that we've already cleared all of the Cascades of Belknap. We have one camp job, camp job uh, the Ripper mission in... Uh, the Cascades for Copeland there. And then we have one here. Oh, this is a he's my brother. Oh, this is the breaker boss mission. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, well, Mark, you're just in time, sir. Hey, Mark. Evening, buddy. Hello. Yeah, I am. I am feeling I, I feel fucking great. Actually, I've been getting shit done all day long, man. I feel fantastic. Uh, just still have kind of a crappy, my voice is, you know, I mean, y'all can tell it's a bit rough right now and, uh, you know, still kind of sinusy and nasally <laughs> still have a little bit of a cough. I promise to stay well hydrated though. All right. So we have our choices. Uh, I think we're going to, well, you know what? Fuck that, man. Let's go take out this breaker boss. Uh, I've done something unique on this playthrough. Uh, I actually already have the MG 45 fully upgraded with the magazine upgrade and everything. Uh, so, uh, I think I was actually planning to carry that. Are we, do we have that right now? We do have the MG 45 with us. So that's got to be what we were doing. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're even pointed that direction. We were headed this way and we were going to go do the story mission and take out the breaker, uh, right on. Oh, Hey, and we need to say hello to CJ Voorhees. Wow. Happy Halloween, Mr. Voorhees. What's up? Oh, old lady D geek time for my two favorite men. Spawnicus Rex, and the one and only Deacon St. John. <laughs> all right. Man, this game is so cinematic. Good Lord. Look at how fucking pretty that is. Anyway. All right. Let's go kill some shit. <coughs> I do apologize for the cough. I'm just about over it, but it's still there. You know, quite often that lingering cough is the last thing to go when you've had a hardcore fucking cold. All right, I'm going to be a bit rusty. I haven't played in a week. And I felt like shit last time I played, so I wasn't playing well then. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
Many of you will already know this. There is a hidden loot location here. The hidden loot location to which I am referring is right over here on the top of this house. Or house? Whatever the fuck it is. This structure. You can get a fully crafted pipe bomb and a fully crafted uh, proximity bomb and also a shit rifle and a little bit of ammo. Okay. Want that pipe bomb though. Oh, I need to say hello to Sean Kohler. Hey, Sean, what's up? All right, so let's go ahead and make a save right before we start this mission. Yes, yes, please. All right. Or can do it, man. So this is the first time I've ever done this mission uh, and rolled up on it with an MG45 of my own already. I've never done that before. <coughs> Usually I recommend getting to this point in the game, this specific mission, come here. This is your first opportunity to pick up an MG45 uh, in the game. It's the first opportunity to pick up a real fucking machine gun. So I used to recommend that new players just kind of get through the game. You know, go get your SMP9 early. I've got my video for how to unlock the SMP9 early. But then hold off until you get here and you can pick up an MG45. Then take that MG45 and go kill all the Schizo, hordes. I don't I'm really do border. that anymore. Once you oh, have Schizo the SMP9... How much time and you have it? access Nine, to the one. hidden all loot locations in the Lost Lake area as well. Once guide. you have all that, Double you've got you everything you need to I'm take care of all the hordes in the Cascades I and Belknap. You don't need this MG-45. So now, it's fun it. to it out. take out all those hordes up there with an MG-45, but it's not necessary. The SMP-9 and the hidden loot locations are really all you need. Uh, so that's what I did on this playthrough. Uh as soon as we unlocked Lost Lake, we just went right back up north and took out all of the hordes uh, and unlocked the MG-45 from Tucker's camp. All right, let's go. Oh, CJ, you said you had a four hostage situation in the game. Glitched out last time, but got to save them all this time. Nice. Yeah, I love that four hostage one. Was that at the houses in uh, Lost Lake? Uh, the houses that Claire refers to as the frat houses because it looks like somebody threw a big ass kegger there, big keg party with beer pong and you know beer bottles and shit all over the place. Uh, I know you sometimes find four hostages there, which is great because if you send all if you send them to Lost Lake, you get four thousand trust with Lost Lake in one move right there. But it does bug out sometimes. Sometimes they'll fall through the floor and shit. All right, now I would normally be here with a sniper rifle. I'd have a, usually the C8 sniper rifle from Lost Lake Camp. Uh, and I would be headshot sniping these guys. <clears throat> I guess should have the SMP9 and a suppressor. That's damn near as good as a sniper rifle, isn't it? Nope, I missed. I suck. So, expert pro tip. Don't miss. Might as well take that suppressor off. Got your helmet? That's eh, alright, buddy. You don't need that helmet. You'll be fine without it. Wink. Kill me those pearly whites. Hey, you're not supposed to be able to shoot me through that. Asshole. Finally. Ah, I should have waited. Okay, let's push up. Fuck it. I'm getting bored. Yes, teach him the truth. Headshots are instant kills. That is the truth. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, why not? Must reload. Well, thank you for telling me that you're reloading. Appreciate that. And let's push up again. Come on, let's go. Hey, buddy. You want to quit fucking around back there? Stand still so I can shoot you in the face? 
It'd be super cool if you would. Oh. All right. Oh, you clever girl, you. Fuck this. How you feel about that auto shotgun, dear? All right. I can use this. <laughs> oh, an attractor. Nice. Okay, what else do we have? Could be some more loot around here. Sterilizer. Okay, don't need that. And these guys have boring loot. Got my med kit replaced, though. That's neat. <laughs> MG45 ammo that we don't need. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're ready to push forward. James Guan. What's up, buddy? Hello. Huh. Now, if I've missed anyone, please do forgive me. You know, I try not to overlook folks in the chat. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, uh, Claire Weaver, my lovely partner in crime and host of the Days Gone podcast, should be along shortly. She's currently dealing with a no-bed situation. Once she gets that under control, she'll be in here to help me moderate the chat. Hi, I'm W.D. Henderson. Hey, bud. Hello, sir. Come on back this way, buddy. <coughs> Maybe I should just use a rock. These guys aggro as soon as you step out, though. So you have to be careful with them. It's like, I guess it's like programmed. It's scripted or something. As soon as you step out from behind this truck, he's going to open fire. Whether he's, you know, he could be completely facing the opposite direction. Joe Schmo. What's up, buddy? Joe Schmo 0216. Channel assistant is in the house. Oh, check it out. He brought pops and blades with him. Currently at work. But keeping the live open. Right on. Thanks, man. So this asshole is just... He's actually just going to, like, sit over there and chill right there, isn't he? Asshole! I'm trying to murder you. Could you engage, please? That's better. This. That's how I like to take those guys out. Nope. Oh, and a frag grenade. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Joe Schmo, you uh, taking a deep breath before the plunge as you come in to say hi to everybody? <laughs> Joe, thanks for putting those links in there, brother. I appreciate you, man. Folks, you know what those links are. You know why they're there. You know I need the support. You know you get plenty of content here. Please, seriously. If you are one of the tens of thousands of people that my videos have helped, please do consider popping over to buymeacoffee.com slash Rex. Take a look at the membership options there. One-time contributions are greatly appreciated. Memberships as well. All memberships comes with uh, some, kind of pro some kind of cool perks, you know. Every membership comes with something. Some more than others. house, motherfucker. That's where the path is. Alright, let's rock and roll. Let's go murder a breaker. I mean, uh, let's go uh, face the breaker boss for the first time. Now, you can also bring your bike down here. Uh, like, especially if you're picking up the MG45 for the first time here, bring your bike down here and use the saddlebag on your bike. Uh, that way you can top off that MG45 ammo. Right. 
holy shit check it out man 43 people right now 43 people watching ah speaking of i need to say hello to nicholas brunner hey nick what's up man hello and welcome back uh glad to be able to get away from that yankees game right now <laughs> well i'm <coughs> i'm glad you're here instead <coughs> oh and i've missed another person sorry uh i see joe is saying hello to sensei mike which means i have failed to say hello to sensei mike hello sensei mike hello and welcome all right so what are we doing uh i was gonna say well we had 43 people in chat i'm seeing 39 now but still 43 people watching right now everybody pop in and say hi just say hello so, so we'll know you're here and we can greet you properly all right let's do it And everyone, if you would, please make sure that you hit like on the video. I know I often forget when I fire up a video. Uh, so if you would, please make sure that you hit like on it. And as well, go up to your chat column, which I have failed to do. Make sure you select live chat on your chat column over there. Because top chat is gone. Nobody likes it. Oh, Will, Will, thank you, buddy. Will says, my videos helped him so much with this game. Well, thank you, sir. I am truly glad that people find some of the content that I put out to be useful. All right, so most of y'all will already know this method of how I generally deal with the breaker. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I feel like I am using the tools that the developers put in the game to make this work because if you notice they do provide you with bear traps and explosives and lots of them they also provide you with a massive fucking okay camera please calm down yes 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 dear okay be weird just do that let's try it from a different angle anyway um there <laughs> the game does provide you with a massive fucking machine gun bear traps and explosive boxes and i kind of feel like that's the game telling you how to run this boss battle. Yes, there are many other ways that are just as fun or more so. Yes, there are many other ways that are safer even. Uh, even using, you know, using shit like the executioner skill and smoke bombs and stuff that it can be done. <coughs> Claire demonstrated how fucky it can be sometimes. The I think the last time she did it, uh, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. The executioner skill was being weird because this is technically a boss battle or whatever, but it, it does work. It can be done. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to use those bear traps to apply a stunned status to the breaker. Then we're going to pop him, uh, pop the explosive box there to apply burning status and, of course, deal explosive damage to him. And then we've once we've got him stunned and burning, then we're going to open fire with some heavy fucking firepower. And that's pretty much how it's done. Rinse and repeat until he's fucking dead. Yeah, Mark Brewington, we're going to show this boss who's boss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to hydrate first. Got to try and keep my voice strong, man. Okay. <clears throat> Allow me to adjust my chair and get comfortable. Uh. All right, now. Oh, Will, this is where you're at in your playthrough? Right on, man. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. So this tiny little bush should allow you to maintain stealth if you're careful. Take a look at the bottom right-hand corner down by the mini-map. You'll see an I symbol with an X over it. If you step out of the bushes for a sec, that little X disappears. That means you're visible. Now you're not visible. That's how you know. Now we know we're safe to move around. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this first bear trap. We're going to plant it right here beside this explosive box. We're going to move forward and look for another one. They are literally littered around this map. They're fucking everywhere. Uh, generally, you're only going to need three. I like to have at least three or four set up just in case. You'll need a minimum of three, I believe. One more right here. There's another explosive box right here. This gives us three, and that's probably enough, but I do like to have a contingency plan. So I'll usually grab at least one more. 
because there are multiple boxes, uh, explosive boxes as well. This is the one I like to use right over here by the wing. There is another one. I'll show you guys after the encounter because I don't want to screw up and set this off incorrectly. Well, we'll go ahead and do it. I'll show you all here through this little gap here. There's an explosive box here. I do not like to use this one uh, because it is too easy to get trapped in this little corner back here. So I do not use that one. All right, let's go. Hopefully he'll get the trap there. Come on, buddy. Run into the trap. You know you want to. Now he's on fire. Light him up. Well, it didn't set him on fire, but that's okay. He still took the explosive. Okay, he is on fire. Excellent. All right, make the break to the next one. He'll usually come around the easier path around this side. If he does not, that's okay. Still just pulling through the bear trap. Pop the explosive box. Get him, you know, damage from the explosive. I cannot see his health bar at all. It looks like I haven't injured him at all on his health bar. All right, let's get him to the next one. Oh, I see now. I've got enough of the backdrop. Looks like he's about got about one third of his health left. So we want to run him through this third trap here. Should get him. Pop the box. Get the breaker. Three is usually enough. And that got him right there. But we had a fourth one set up if we needed it. Woo! <clears throat> okay. Lawless victory. That was fun. Y'all ever run the newts off just because you get tired of listening to them? I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and top off our ammo. There is tons of fucking ammo around here. And now keep in mind there, I wasn't really using anything fancy. Okay, I kind of cheated by having the MG45 unlocked already and having uh, it, the magazine upgrade for it already. I, I kind of cheated there, but I wasn't really using anything like late game or any uh, I wasn't using anything that the game doesn't give you right now at this point in the game you pick up an MG45 on this mission you have bear traps you have explosive boxes you have ammo tins laying around everything you need the game gives you right here uh, alright excuse me hey Dandy Denny is with us Dandy Denny 07 hello and welcome ma'am how are you uh, folks I need to go ahead and draw attention to this I think we have just hit a record I think 47 is the most active viewers I have ever had. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you so fucking much. I need to say hello to Captain Caffeine. There's another one of them right there. Cap Caffeine, hello. What's going on? And and thank you, Captain. Y'all don't forget to like the video, please. Mr. Dutchy Dutch is with us. Dutchy Dutch, what's up, bud? Hello and welcome. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, I am still getting over a cold. <coughs> oh, oh my god let's fucking cough man <clears throat> so Joe says he's seeing 49 right now oh and Chris White I didn't say hi to Chris White sorry buddy hi <coughs> 50 we just hit 50 Woo! we just hit 50 50 is a new record for me tonight so on that note once again Joe if you would put those links in there for me brother Check this out, guys. I need to say hello to some people. These are my channel supporters. Captain Caffeine, Basics of Pain, Borislav 24-7, Sarah Monster, Floyd Rocker, James Guan, Jay Stabby, Catherine Jones, Hani Okashe, Obscured by Ink, Anton G, W.D. Henderson, and Tom Moose. These are the folks who have elected to support the channel by memberships, whether buymeacoffee.com slash Rex or patreon.com slash Rex. Either one, whichever, uh, buy me a coffee 
is the better for you guys, really, because if you use that one, more of your money is going to the entertainers that you are supporting. So that's really the best way for you to do that. Folks, if you are one of the tens of thousands of people that my videos have helped, or if you just have fun hanging out, please do consider popping over there to Patreon or buy me a coffee. Take a look at the membership tiers that are available there. Uh, One-time contributions are always appreciated. Every single penny goes to the channel either way. doesn't matter. But the things that... What make me feel better about doing this full-time and feeling like I can justify doing this as a full-time when we get those memberships, that's when I know it's like, oh, I mean, this is fucking legit, man. This is something that maybe I can... Maybe I can actually do this full-time and support my family, you know? And you guys can help, man. Every single fucking one of you can help. Hey, Ricky. The membership started a buck or two a month. Seriously, for a buck or two a month. You can help support this channel. You, yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. All of you. Anyway, I hate talking about money, so I'm done now. But for real, thank you all very much. Ah, and I need to say hello to... Uh, tell me how to say it. I want to say Donise, but if I'm saying it wrong, tell me. Hello. Hello and welcome. Wait, Again, if I've missed saying hi to everybody, I do. If I've missed saying hi to anybody, I do sincerely apologize. You, you, right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now. You see how he runs the guys off? You and you, go look up there. And then he turns hey, over and starts whispering to Deacon. We had a run in with a few rippers. But Trying I to be all clever. You handled it. Frank Riggs! What's up, man? Hello uh -huh. and welcome. Oh, Donise, I got it right. Okay. Known. Right on. Known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, and I need I to say hello to William McCranny. William McCranny, hello. Thank you. I'm done here. Good. Yeah, the breaker's not so bad when you use the tools that the game provides you with in that battle. So what are you doing out here? The skiz man. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, Addy told me to come and get you. Why? Wait, hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. All right. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told it me ain't to good. find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site, the medical supplies, it's no big secret. Did anybody else try to race her back? You can't. She will run you off the road. You can't win. She'll run you off the road. What do you mean? I mean bullshit. I was there. Had that cargo oh, 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 hang on. I was trying to look at the chat. Start driving all stupid. I'll catch up with the chat in a second. Get back to Lost Lake and I'll catch up with the chat. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. True story. Yeah, great. So now you're calling me Skizzo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's A camp. drifter. Like you Liar. said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Skizzo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself. Oh because my. he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. Such Not exactly naughty what language. Happened. Oh, hello, trees. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. Mm -hmm. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You ever think when yeah, you I don't know. about someone starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days? reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. <laughs> K 
camp would be better off if he were if he were a little bit like Deacon, just a little bit, not not as much, but a little bit. Oh, James, uh, I see that comment standing out there. Uh, yeah, William, pretty William, much. If you can yes. hear me, I need you to stop. <laughs> Addy, what's going on? Loser. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? What are oh, you shit, doing? William, Listen, you just you finished to to Survival 2 just now. this afternoon. No. Fucking no. A, man. Right on. Was that your first don't playthrough? You take it. No, uh, survival no. 2 on your first no, playthrough? That's no pretty way. intense. No, you're not gonna Deacon, do listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is going to save the arm. Now, listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Andy, we're losing him. Oh, CJ Voorhees. Yeah, I agree, man. Yeah, that scene. Ooh. All right, all right. The way that the way that girl's arm hey, got pal. messed up in uh, Last of Us Two. Hey pal. All right, hey, I just. What did they do? Somebody uh, smashed her arm with a hammer or some okay, shit. Dig, dig. Okay. Oh, Nick, absolutely. Right the okay, music okay, okay. is okay. just fucking incredible. Ah! Yeah, folks. Uh, I'm sure most of you will be familiar no, no, with no, the Days Gone podcast. Uh, you need to check out. Uh, there's an episode on the music as well, just on the soundtrack and music. Uh, absolutely killer. Our buddy Joe Schmo was on there, uh, as well as Ken, I believe. Wasn't Ken the other guest on that show? Yeah, WD after, what, 28, 29 playthroughs? And to be entirely honest, when I'm just playing on my own, I generally skip the cutscenes as well. Uh, I've seen them. Dozens of times, you know, a dozen times when at I least. In high school, I, uh, thought, I know the story. I know the maybe I should script. Be a I know the dialogue here. and everything. Or should uh, I be a surgeon? So I generally just focus on doing the gameplay <laughs> when I'm playing by myself. 28. We're up to 28 now. God damn. Hey, yep. Okay? The scene where uh, Deacon drives up to Crater Lake. And, of course, the, the drive down to Lost Lake as well. Excellent music. I think he's going to see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I got to go and give him his IV drip. <laughs> Cap says know, WD could probably cosplay this, those cutscenes. <laughs> but it's going to save a lot of lives. <laughs> to Pantomime them. <laughs> move by move. Yeah, James, I agree. Damn, son. <laughs> oh, shit. What did Jeremy say now? <laughs> Boozer's disarming personality. God damn it. Get out here. Oh, you got to wait to kill Schizo until your hands get better. What's going on with your hands, man? I heard Bart Starr's cousin. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. Wait, what? Rocky I'm Horror Picture God Show reenact? Is that a thing? Who's are going to live? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. Yep. When Carlos finds out about this, there's going to be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You mm -hmm. are writing checks with other men's blood. Oh, you hurt your hand at work today. I hope oh, you're fuck, man. That. You did what had to be done. Mm -hmm. Did what had to be done to your mom. Mike. Wait up. Writing checks with other men's blood. You got it, Frank. Such good dialogue in this game. Hey, and we got a level up. Woo, woo. Ow. Standing and we're almost level two. God damn, we need level two. 11 to 5, 9 to 12, 5. And what, less than a thousand? Oh, shit. All right. Can live with that. One survivor rescue. I don't think I have like any I've, oh, wrong button. I've got a handful of bounties and a handful of meat. That's not going to be enough to get me to a thousand. There's no way. So what else do we have available? Oh, skill point. Let's spend that skill point, shall we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will. Up the ante. Oh, I love it. Hang on. I got to show you all something. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. I'm probably about to waste some credits here, but that's okay. Let's make sure we're topped off on everything. Ammo's full. All right, so check it out. With the shotgun, it has a standard drum magazine, 16 rounds. So you have 16 shells available in one magazine, and then you have 64 in reserve. 
And on the S&P 9, you have 50 in the mag and 90 in reserve. And let's, shit, let's just go ahead and keep the machine gun out for now, 95 and 165. When you get up the ante skill, that one will increase the ammo capacity for all of those ranged weapons. So you will be able to carry more ammo in reserve. Now, I get this one first because having more ammo means making more headshots. And next, I'll get the head rush ability where headshot kills recover a touch of health. And pretty much from then on, we'll be using headshot kills to pretty much keep our health full or at least keep it topped off. Uh, but I start here. Look at what it does to the capacity on the weapons. We'll go refill those weapons. As you can see, again, it's 64, 90, and 165. And that just gave us 128, 150, and 275. So it is such a massive increase to the amount of ammo that you can carry in the field active on your person. Uh, and then think about this. If you go pull from your saddlebags, <clears throat> now I'm pulling 128 shotgun rounds every time. Hey, uh, or actually plus 16, plus 16 for the magazine as well. Where? It's fucking absurd. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, you know, yep. the saddlebag, one use of the saddlebag will always top off all of the weapons you're carrying, no matter what their max capacity is. It doesn't matter if the max capacity is five or 500. You hit that saddlebag one time, you're going to fill it up all the way. Uh, and that is when you hit the point where using the saddlebag to refill your ammo all the time becomes the most cost efficient way to keep your ammo full. Because you're, you know, shit, you're filling hundreds of rounds every single time now. Looking to buy, Hope. A oh, look. and I need to okay. re-equip my sniper rifle. Don't Forgot about that. Don't beat her up that. too bad. Don't beat her up too bad. Well, Later, D. what if she likes it rough, Buzz? What if she likes it rough? I still, it still applies. Just don't beat her up too bad. Shit. Hey there. Calm down, kill her. All right, let's swap out for the correct rifle. You know me, man. You know I'm a sniper rifle kind of guy. Yeah, top off yeah, the snipey good. ammo. Sure would like to be able to get that uh, magazine upgrade, but we don't really need it because once I hit level three where I can purchase that magazine upgrade, I'm just going to buy a different sniper rifle. Okay, <clears throat> we'll then. switch out for the Talon 7 at that point. Okay, we have a camp job. And we have a um, side mission. Let's run up here and do this side mission. And then we'll come down and do this camp job for Cope. Oh, Darren, you like to kind of do a little handicap and uh, not don't use the SMP9, just the pistol. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really cool the Boss different stuff. It's cool the there? different stuff you can do in this uh, game yeah, to, you, what's up? you know, create little challenges for yourself. You to stick around, do I mean, I don't get too wild camp, with that stuff personally, because uh, I, I kind of like to feel like a badass yeah, when I'm gaming. Like that. Uh, it's well, rewarding to I can't me. Say I blame you. But okay. uh, well, I guess I'm stuck that's how you. I came up well, with my no shots fired videos. That fucking no shots fired video is. God, I don't even know yeah, how many. Okay. I honestly Eight don't even know how many views it's up to now. It's a lot. Like a lot, a lot. <laughs> Good. And all that is just from, yeah, just from trying to Did find a fun way to there? handicap yeah, myself Ricky, a little what's bit. Up? I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list of knife, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve him up. Mm. Anyway, I... Like a Christmas turkey. Hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen, um... Thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. Uh, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. <clears throat> Okay, so let's hit this one. No oh, shit, we might. 
Uh, yeah, you know, we might as well hit the uh, hidden loot locations while we're here. I think <clears throat> we may drive back through uh, Marion Forks. I'll try to remember to drive back through Marion Forks on the way out of here so we can hit the loot locations there. I don't know if I need any of that stuff from those loot locations. I'll, I'll check my inventory here in a second. I'll have a look at it. Hmm, I need one of those. I'll go ahead and pick that up. Spark igniters are handy. You can make something out of this. Yeah, you can. Actually, wait, did I need... Ah, Molotovs! That's, I thought I had thrown some shit. Now, I can pick these up later. I'm not going to waste gunpowder to make that. But I can pick a couple up back in Lost Lake. There's a couple of locations to pick those up. Beer bottle back there. All right. Now these I do skip. I I do the mission to get the XP, but I do skip them. So, uh, I Jay Stabby. Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> No, I told you I was never going to do you'll do. Oh, what episode are y'all doing together? You want to do one together? The not so secret secrets of days choice. gone. See, Boozer, 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 oh, Frank says, I did a challenge I once where I could only use one weapon of each kind, one shotgun, well, one I, AR machine gun, one revolver said, rifle, no, no two of Either the same kind. Days, Made so, it interesting, uh, yeah. He, um, he lost the arm. All right. <clears throat> Oh shit, hang on one second. Uh, I see the comment here from Old Lady D Geek. Uh, I made a short video showing how I make a string of remote bombs ending with a proximity bomb to blow up the Metolius Lava Cave Horde when you go there on the mission with Iron Mike. Oh shit, you set up stuff to blow them up before the mission. Whoa, uh, Old Lady D Geek, where can we find that video? Please, ma'am, tell us where we can find that video. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel up, or is it on your Instagram or something like that? That sounds cool. Well, Jay Stabby says we should start a podcast with all the things we didn't know that seems so obvious later on. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's an episode we could do. Shit, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, Mr. Voorhees says, I always try to ghost every camp in the game. Uh, try not to use the sniper rifle till you go against the militia because the BFG is just perfect for it. Yeah. I actually like, uh, I did a couple of, uh, playthroughs where I, I saved a lot of the camp jobs for later in the game after you come back from a loss, uh, after you come back from the militia and, uh, it's a lot of fun doing those camp jobs with the BFG. That's a fucking blast. Oh, I need to say hello to Bytyco YT. Hello. How are you? Hello and welcome. And let's see, only did a short version of it. It takes a few in-game days to collect all the supplies. Yeah. I make all the bombs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, 16 remote bombs and one proximity bombs. One proximity bomb. Holy shit. Yeah, for real. Where can we find that? That sounds cool as shit. I want to know where that is. Yeah, we're holding at 43 right now. Shit, yeah. Right on. Okay, uh, folks, I'm going to take a very... Oh, I was going to take an intermission, but I got to say hello to my buddy Boris Slav 24-7. Another OG Days Gone Badass. That's one of the world number one ranked challenge mode masters right there popping in to say hi in my Days Gone live stream. Boris Slav 24-7. What's up, man? Hi. All right, folks, uh, y'all talk amongst yourselves for a moment. I'm going to take just a brief intermission. I actually just need to top off my water. I am still recovering from a cold. My voice is still a bit rough and I'm kind of coffee sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to go top off my water so I can stay hydrated and we can keep this going a little bit longer. All right. Okay, be right back.
All right. Welcome back, everybody. I have returned with fresh water. I'm going to stay well hydrated so my voice won't get too rough on us tonight. And if I start, like, coughing or whatever, I'll have cold water to deal with. Uh, speaking of. All right. And check it out, folks. That brief intermission there was just in time for my lovely partner in crime, Claire Weaver of the Days Gone podcast. Hello. She's AKA. Done, AKA a bit terror. <laughs> yeah, she's done putting the kiddo to bed, so she's Finally. in here to help me moderate the chat. And babe, check this shit out. You're not gonna fucking believe this. We hit 50 tonight. No way. We had we Where'd everyone go then? I know, right? Where are them fuckers at now? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Hi everyone. Yeah. Sorry about that. I may or may not have taken a little short nap whilst or two. The, or two whilst putting the kiddo to bed. Um I forget what woke me up. Something woke me up. Something I heard you. Oh, probably. Say something. Yeah. Being all loud and shit. Yeah. So who do we have? Who's here? Fucking all kinds of folks, man. Like, yeah. Hello. We have all kinds. <laughs> yeah. Hello, awesome. all kinds. <laughs> oh, I got some whiskey. Yeah, yeah. Yummy, yummy. So what mission are we doing? Uh, okay. So we just finished the breaker mission. Nice. Yeah, we wiped, we embarrassed the breaker in front of his little friends, the newts. Uh, and then we're going to come down here. What I want to do, I want to drive through Marion Forks and come down to, oh shit, you know, we might just hit all the loot locations, honestly. Uh, at least these three. And then come down here to Copeland's and do the uh, this mission. But we actually want to go through Marion Forks first. Swing by the hidden loot locations while we're in town, you know. There we go. Can of fuel. Need this. Boris Lav is in the chat. He's giving advice on challenge mode to Sean. Ah. Oh. The order in which you take on the challenges at the start is important, my mm -hmm. friend. That's half the battle, he says. Exactly right. Yeah. Boris Lav has figured out uh, pretty much everything one needs to know about challenge mode. <laughs> and a lot of things that most people don't even think to know about challenge mode. Boris Lav has figured it out. <laughs> right. Oh, hey, Jay Stabby. Just as we hit 52. No shit. I never saw. I didn't see 52. I saw 50, but not 52. Old Lady Deek Geek is drinking Seagram's Lime Twist Gin and Ooh. Ginger Ale. Fucking Yummy. hey. Oh, can I come over and have some of that? <laughs> you, you got enough for everybody, right? Uh, Nicholas Brunner says, Boris Lab's guides have saved my life. I do hope Heck you mean it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Damn it, not now. <laughs> I forgot we're not on the late game bike right now, are we? <laughs> A Deacon's Thunder Egg's okay. <laughs> They're non existent. Let's go. Good night. Joe Schmo says, Drink call. What's everybody sipping on tonight? I have, let me see. I have some Redemption. High Rye mm, Bourbon. Yeah, drinking the Redemption tonight. Fucking love I know. this. That is good shit. Very tasty. Really, really good. Um, <laughs> Nicholas is drinking water. Yep. Or how Same you, here. How you say it with the Bruce Lee thing. I'm <laughs> yeah. not good. I'm, I can't do dad jokes. <laughs> oh, the Thunder Eggs. Oh, <laughs> think of the Thunder Eggs. <laughs> Will nobody think of the Thunder Eggs? Um, I should stop. Oh, scrap. wait, wait. <laughs> oh, no, Boris is What's sick. Uh, Boris no sounds way. like a Scottish Barry White right now, as my voice is two octaves <laughs> lower than <laughs> Rex's. I'm <laughs> I'm ill at the moment. Oh, damn. Well, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Yeah. WD is one of my people. Later. He can drink coffee this late at night. <laughs> He's on coffee. Um, Sean says, can you list, this is to Boris Lab, which... Which challenges to do in order for a beginner? I well, yeah, you want to refer them to the video? Hold on, what was that? Was that you making vibrations in the floor? Or was that a kiddo? Possibly, Hang on. but I don't know. 
I don't. He- Sorry, I took my headphones <laughs> off. I don't hear anything. I yeah, think it was just the chair yeah. made like a mm. wheels click. Possibly, possibly, yeah. Um, Come back. Sean, Dick. I would advise that you check hey. out Borislav's uh, channel. Um, and I, he has like a playlist of okay, like, challenge mode guides. Who's Definitely take a look hey. at that. I don't know which video uh, off the top of my head I, uh, describes the order in which to do them, but they're definitely, organ, there's definitely you know, something so on there. You can also check out the interview you know? with Borislav on the Days Gone podcast. Uh, I believe we talked about the order of the challenges in that. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, check it out. That's on uh, my channel, 8-Bit Terror. Just search for Days Gone Podcast on YouTube and it'll come up. And it's episode... Shit, I don't remember. Boris, which episode was it? Like 27 or 32 or something like that? Also, uh, Borislav and I did a collaborative series. We've got, what, one challenge left? Uh, check out the series of videos that are... Uh, who was it? The ones that Borislav and I did together. Uh, what what we do is Borislav talks me through everything step by step, and I pop into photo mode and like pan around and we break down every nice. single move one step at a time. Definitely, yeah. And that will well, go. Th- you did those in the Equus uh, so correct order. I believe right? so. So yes. yeah, you can just skim through those uh, and Sorry, see feeling, which feeling one you want to do. Which one is recommended uh, to do first, and then, hey, you know, Addie's watch the, the video for that. Uh, Bo Hunter is around. with us. Hello, hey, guys. Hey, Bo Hunter. I hear a punk uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Uh, it doesn't look too good. Hey, listen, Boozer. Boo. Shit. Boris says, I think it was episode 34. I knew it was something Sounds like about right, <laughs> yeah. So this location here, Marion Forks, this is a great place to pick up not only items that are fully crafted and ready to use, but also uh, crafting materials. There's a shitload of crafting materials here. If you're using this early game sniper rifle and you leave this one right here, there is also an infinite supply of sniper rifle ammo up here. You only get a few rounds at a time, but it respawns like indefinitely. CJ is with us. Uh, CJ says, anyone ever notice that some of what O'Brien says, uh, spoiler, are we doing spoilers? Mm. Yeah, that's spoilers. fine. Yeah. Uh, when he reveals he's infected is said in previous missions, like Freak is evolving at an exponential uh, rate. Uh, yeah, right. He's talking about himself. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm guessing <coughs> that's put in there because uh, people may not have played those sites, uh, play, may not have pay, paid attention or listened to the Nero recordings, yeah, things right. like that. Yeah. Oh, Joe, thank you. Uh, Joe has just dropped a link in there. A uh, playlist of Rex and Borislav challenge mode. There we go. Thank, thank you, you, Joe. And Boris says, I recommend watching the two trophy guide videos as they include the ideal uh, order you want to take them out. Okay. Nice. Cool. That's good info right there. Nicholas says O'Brien's leg movements always weirded me out. Hmm, I hadn't noticed. Now, do you mean just in like that that final scene that we all know which one I'm talking about, or in general? WD says five alarms. I don't need any of this. Five alarms and seven cans at Marion Forks. Yeah, yeah. It is an incredible spot for crafting materials. There's gunpowder and all kinds of other shit too. Could you pass me my iPad, please? Of course. One second. Rex uses dark mode, and it actually hurts my eyes sometimes to look at it. So I got to switch. He's so funny. All right. All right do what you got to do, babe. Um. Okay. So the next hidden loot location. There we go. It's now I can see what people are saying. What oh all? One sec. Let me think. What's here? I don't think I need anything from this location. Now that I think about it, the pipe bomb is it. Yeah, I don't actually need anything from there. We can go straight to Copeland's.
I've seen him before. Open that. Well, Hunter says, great afternoon watching Rex play Days Gone. Love this game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm really glad to be back on some Days Gone tonight. You know, last week I was really feeling like shit, man. Uh, we had to call the stream early he because was struggling. I, I, I was really was Camper's feeling life. terrible that hey, night. I couldn't hardly stay hey, awake. You take good care of but um, you actually got lost in a house. I did. Yeah, God, we were, we were there to try and look for Lisa. <laughs> and I was just panning the camera around like, fuck, I can't remember what room to go in next. Like, what is house? Yeah. Where is child? <laughs> what? Yep. You, Get D. video game. Hey, Damon. What? How's life? So I'm glad to be back on it tonight while I'm feeling better. CJ says, losing all your today. materials after the schizo betrayal is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Thanks, schizo. Yeah, well, again, uh, there's that uh, Hidden Loot Locations video that I have out. And as WD pointed out, uh, you know, this spot uh, where we were just at, Marion Forks, is a fucking killer spot to get crafting materials. Uh, but yeah, check out my Hidden Loot Locations video. I have a playlist that is... Uh, I think it's just the best early start guide videos, and, you, and that and then one's you have in an there. Yeah, you have that one. You also have an, hit, an updated, specifically hidden loot locations for fully crafted things. Right, but it's in the playlist of right. uh, yes. early start bit yeah. videos. Um, there's also a couple of things to consider, if you don't mind me throwing this out there. Yeah, come there's on, a, let's go. I mean, there's yeah. your tip to leave all your bombs and everything you can physically yes. put down to come up with. Uh, yeah. to come back for later. You leave them in what I consider a very vulnerable <laughs> spot. I I recently on a, a playthrough found a fucking excellent spot to leave them at. We'll get to that, I assume, when we when we yeah, get to that point. When we do that, yeah. Um but yeah there's a there's a good place to put them. And um my trick is always use Buzzer. everything. When you know that mission's coming up, go take on some hordes. I know Rex you do it a little different. You've already taken on all the hordes there, but yeah. I'm like, I'm I'll leave a few and then be like, okay, let's go spend all our camp. Molotovs. Let's go, <laughs> yeah. you know, use up all the grenades, everything that we have. Yeah, Boozer, what the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the Rippers were looking for us, that we had a price on our head. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not, not that I remember. <laughs> not that I remember. All right, let's make a save game real quick. Now, I y'all know me. I'm not much for stealth. Uh, it has its uses. It's just not my thing. I'm not. I'm honestly not that good at it. If I'm being entirely honest. But uh, if you can take out this camp in complete stealth, they do not spawn reinforcements. This is one of those. This is one of those missions where if you are noticed during the mission, you take out the first zero of eight. If you are noticed during that time. Reinforcements will spawn, and it jumps up to like fourteen. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. I think it's another <coughs> eight. I'm pretty sure it's eight. And it eight. may be. It may be. It just doubles and sends another batch. Yeah. Um, but if you can take them out quietly, then uh, the reinforcements do not respawn. Now, I did this successfully one time. Have you? Okay. It was, it was fucking. Oh, I loved it, but mm -hmm. it was hard. Yeah. It's not easy. I've to only do. done it twice that I know of, that I can recall. One of those times is probably by accident. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see a third time right now. I am found. Uh, Gaming Today is with us. Uh, Gaming Today said, I just finished my first playthrough last week on PS5. Just Ooh. started my second on Steam Deck. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm kind of curious about playing this on the Steam Deck, man. I, I, I don't know that I would really have much use for a Steam Deck. I don't game on the go all that much generally mm. if i'm doing gaming i'm i'm at the house i'm here in the office or sitting in the living room or something uh so i don't know that i have much use for gaming on the go but it, it sounds like a hell of a lot of fun uh we have high tech rec with us watched hey, 500 hello. watched 500 plus hours of videos over the last year never played the game shows how entertaining days gone is <laughs> that's nice. incredible i love that that is cool uh, the Who fan is with us. I'm playing hey. Survival 2 now. Okay. So notice we've cleared the four that were out walking around. The other four are the ones that are down there around that freak. Molotov. I'm thinking frag grenade. Oh, but yeah, that's yeah. it. There is a free Molotov at the ambush camp that's just uh, south of here. Bear traps. <laughs> Don't forget your bear traps. Yeah, right. 
and your trip wires as well. Mm -hmm. This place is littered with them. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Uh, Dandy Denny says any of the missions that spawn reinforcements can be stealthed to an avoid ah. the extra enemies. Nice. Okay. Captain Caffeine, is that a the room reference? Uh, Nicholas Brunner says, I watch guides on the game that I'm never going to use because of how interesting it is. And there um, we go. Eight of eight. Complete hey, still. Good job. Job done. I, see, that's what I call stealth. <laughs> that's what I call stealth. I mean, there's nobody alive to notice, right? Carter Curran <laughs> is with us. Uh, says, this hey. game got shafted by reviews. Aside from a few small bugs, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello and welcome. Gulp, it's done. The rivers up here won't bother anyone ever again. Oh, St. John, that's good news. Hmm. Talk to Manny I guess you day. can't tie Some them others. up by their wrist if they uh, the don't have any arms. To say thank you. Speaking of Mark glitches, I guess. Although, I know you probably just blew her arms off. Yep. Oh, I think there's one. <laughs> yep, there's one. Here, let's move it around a little bit. Then. Oh, and there's the other one on the left. Oh, look. Okay, let's get both of them in the shot then. There we go. <laughs> Wrong button. Let's dial it in. Pull it back. And then dial it in. CJ says, PDW sniping is part mm. of how I can always refrain from swapping out my special for a sniper. Mm. Yeah, that PDW is an incredible fucking weapon. I still, personally, I do still prefer the SMP9, uh, but the PDW is great. I love that he's still holding a grenade in his hand. I literally just <laughs> noticed that shit. That's fucking great. That's a good shot. Uh, Nicholas says, like, uh, like the big hordes, I watch people take them out, but I can't bring myself to do them. Only wiped out the Cascade region. Have you seen... Uh, Rex's No Shots Fired videos, yeah, yeah. the Iron Butte and the Sawmill. They're fucking entertaining. Yeah, we were just talking about the uh, No Shots Fired video. Oh, yeah. Uh, we were talking about, you know, people finding ways to do little handicaps to make the game more challenging. Uh, and that's why I was like, yeah, that's where I came up with the idea for doing the No Shots Fired video. Someone just posted um, a video on subreddit, uh, I guess a sort of truncated version of themselves doing a No Shots playthrough. Mm. I don't believe they, um, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't watched it, but they did like a little write-up of it. Uh, I'm not sure how they tackled the hordes. I think they used like just a lot of throwables. Um, mind those bear traps. Mm -hmm. uh, but they said, I was kind of confused because they said there are four points in the game that you have to use guns. Like you cannot avoid it because it's, you know, like the, the damn mission. Yeah, um, and I would say probably at the end where, you know, you're shooting down into the nursery uh, can you run in with melee weapons? Well, he said at the end where you have to shoot Schizo's helmet there. off. And I was like, okay. Camp. Wait, which bit is that? Yeah, it's right, it's right it. when you go down to rescue like, Weaver in the nursery. Because you have to shoot his helmet off. Then you run down and get Weaver. Know, and then man. you can was too busy go through the nursery at that point. You actually have to shoot. I think you have to you, shoot You do him. have to actually. Well, Sorry, I mean, you have to shoot at him. Yeah, you take a shot at him. And I think what you're doing is taking his helmet off. Oh, okay. I never never noticed that you were at specifically Deacon doing a thing. That confused me because I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I believe so. Um, that may explain why I died a few times because I didn't shoot him. But uh, that's a me thing. Yeah, you would be the one. St. John, come in. Uh, CJ hey, says love taking out entire camps with explosive hey, arrows and hide in the bushes and let them job. fly. Okay. Explosive stealth. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. The Who fan says in my first playthrough, one of the Ripper ambush camps was taken out by a single freaker because they wouldn't fight the freaks. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I love it when that happens. Uh, Carter says, I never really mastered taking out hordes, but it's not as scary as it looks at first. Mm -hmm. Just plan a route, have appropriate weapons, and keep moving. That works the best for me. <laughs> Dandy Daddy says about the freak that was tied up, she could use a hand. Or two. <laughs> Caps says Dandy Denny in with the mom jokes. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you, Joe, for getting rid of those bots. He says, bad bots, uh, go home. Appreciate you, buddy. Okay, so we should have a couple more camp jobs now. Uh, well, I thought Lost Lake had a camp job for us. They do have. It's a story mission, but it's also a camp job. Okay. I would like to answer Nicholas's question. Um, never thought about it, but can you use Iron Mike's farm to kill Sherman's camp? The Sherman camp horde. Sherman's camp horde. My word, I can't speak. Mm, I don't think the Sherman's camp horde will follow you, follow you that far, will they? I know you can do the river flow farms. I said I would like to answer the question. Oh, <laughs> but you okay, go okay. ahead. This is your I mean, stream. fuck, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can use the the farm here to take out the Sherman's camp horde. I don't know, man. I know uh, that I can I can answer it if you would you? let me. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to? I'm waiting. No, you can't. You can't use it, but you can use the you can use the farm to take out the uh, Riverflow farms. Yeah. Horde. Uh, that's actually how I like to do that horde. Cool. Uh, but no, Sherman's camp horde will not follow you very far. You yeah. can get a few. You could probably lure a few of them out at a time. Um, I tried to use the Sherman's camp horde to take out the Dearborn ambush. It, no, is it Dearborn? Yeah, Dearborn ambush camp. And you really can't get them to go that far. You can get a handful. But most of them break off around the gas station in Sherman's camp. They won't follow you up the hill. Hey, oh, Joe going? says you can. Hey. Hmm. Uh, Borislav is leaving. St. John. Uh, oh, Borislav. Shift at work finished, so I'm heading home. And then a yeah. hearty dose of night nurse. Great Don't stream as always, way, everyone else. Uh, all the best, folks. Thank you for being here, Boris. Yeah, and I, I you. hope you feel better I soon. Yeah, man. Get well soon. We'll see you later. <laughs> no, Joseph, just kidding. About. No, you can't. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> uh, James is taking off as well. I'm going to follow Boris and abandon oh, James. Too. Good night, everyone. See we'll you. try to catch you on Thor's day. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. We'll see you later. Okay, why is it not letting me select this mission? Hey. It's actually being weird not David. letting me select the map marker. It won't select it. There we go. How's it going? Uh, CJ says, anyone ever encounter 10 plus marauders attacking the Diamond Lake camp? Hmm. No, never so many at Diamond Lake. I saw that one video you were doing the other day when you had like 16 hey, marauders and one hostage or some shit. Yeah, it was like it's one it fucking nuts. hostage. And like, yeah, there was about 16 of them. And also like three wolves and a bunch <laughs> of other shit got in on the fight. I'm like, God damn it. Uh, but that was in the little farmhouse outside Lost Lake. Uh, Carter says, I used the default AK for about half of my first playthrough. But man, I should have bought the Chicago Chopper earlier, yeah. changed the game entirely, yeah. and I bought the BFG just to take out bears. <laughs> yeah, Old Lady Deep Geek says uh, she's tried the um, Sherman's Camp Horde leading it to the farm, and she uh, says I can get some of them to come close enough for the farm snipers to get them, but not the whole horde. Yeah, they're just one of those hordes that just isn't interested in following you. Yeah, get him, get him. Ah. Wait, no, not this way. The Who fan is using the rock chuck almost exclusively in Survival mm. 2. That's a fun one. It's great for stealth. You know, okay. if you're into that sort of thing. Let's take a look around. And I think this was this is not part of the All mission, right. is it? Where? I was going to say, are you doing a mission or tripwire yeah. ambush? Uh, well, there was a tripwire ambush on the way to the mission. I guess this is the mission, right? I Cause don't know Because there's another silly little blue circle right here. I don't know what it's for. This is probably Oh, no, no, don't ambush. do that one. Yeah, that that's one's, the that ambush. One's stupid. I, never, I did that one like two or three times. It's always the same bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. No, no, it's back that way. Your mom's back that way. Yeah, we're going the right way. Cope, I'm heading to that drifter camp along the highway. What else can you tell me? Not much. The 
Uh, Nicholas oh, says, do you need oops. maxed out trust with the camp to see to them out. in that certain cutscene? Uh, yep. Find him? Yeah. yeah, what is it? Cascades and Belknap will Don't only be present him. in that final cutscene if you have your maxed out your trust with them. No, not this way. Know where I'm going, sir. I mean, I was going to ask, do you know where you're going? I do. I always go after the high ground whenever possible. Can you imagine how terrifying that must be to be tied up and being slapped around or tortured or whatever and then suddenly it's their head, head just explodes, explodes like, right in fuck? front of your face? Yeah. yeah. And there may be one more straggler around here, but I think that's all of them. There's usually just two. Yeah, just here, two, or two or three. Yeah. Which I always find strange. It seems like it should be a bigger mission. Yeah. Not very heavy. I always end up here. sitting in a bush like, uh, <laughs> is anyone else going to come out? No more. No more. Just uh, shut up. I'm cutting you loose. What? What? You're not. Copeland sent me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on a supply run. I didn't know what to do. Don't care. Hey, shut up. Can you run? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Run. 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 Go. Thank you. I'll tell Copa you saved my life. Now, one thing we were talking about, uh, you know, do you need level three <laughs> with Cope and Tuck for them to show up in that final cutscene? Uh, one thing that's interesting about that is it's kind of scripted in a way that you'll get to level three with Copeland's camp at the end of the game uh, because you have that one final mission where you have to go uh, rescue Manny from a rager bear. And when that happens, that's it's a massive trust boost uh, to Copeland's camp. So that's usually the point where it puts me over the edge to be at level three. Yeah, if you do the math on it, it's not possible. Just doing hordes and uh, camp jobs and missions, it's not possible to get to level yeah. three before heading south. Without, but if you want to grind, you can. Yeah, but it's you like grind for meat and bounties and shit. It's not really any point because you're going to go south, then you come back, and then you get that mission that mm -hmm. gives you a lot of trust, and then boom, you're level three. Um, Captain Caffeine has questions. So, does up the ante also apply to looted and found weapons? I do not know. I think it's interesting, though. I don't know how the fuck I managed to park exactly on this tire Shit, tread. Number how did I park exactly on that tire tread? Are you sure that's not your tire tread? I don't think so. They don't stay there that long. Yeah, no, that's not yours. Yeah, that's huh. wild. Interesting coincidence. Jay Stabby says, gotta love Deacon. Just shut up. <laughs> yeah, right, just shut up. Nicholas says, funnily enough, I got neither in my final cutscene. Hmm. I, I did not on my first playthrough either. Yeah. I didn't, because I wasn't doing hordes until after the game, yeah. after the credits. <laughs> CJ says, I love uh, when Radio Free Oregon comes on when Deke screams to Cope, shut the hell up. <laughs> Cope, I found your man. Is he alive? Barely. He's heading back to you on foot. <laughs> Barely. Let him I'll do that. Thank you, St. John. Copeland out. First one.
Okay, so we have a camp job here. <clears throat> that camp job should put us uh, at level two here, and that will give us access going? to more Having bike upgrades. Okay? Uh, I don't. There are no oh, yeah. weapons that I purchase at level two, but there are a lot of bike upgrades that I'll be getting. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me. Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? But red hair? No. No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with gold. I love how you do red this color. mission. He made oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I literally didn't know there was another way to do it. Looking to buy, I hope. <laughs> Just looking around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, uh, I feel like my voice is starting to get a little rough again. Uh, hello. Hey, how's it going? Now that's an upgrade. Uh, yep. Uh. Uh, Nicholas says, which would you say is the most important camp to max huh? out? Diamond Lake for the bike upgrades? Yes, I would say, because the thing about that, at level two, you can get everything you need from Wizard Island. At level two, well, in my opinion, with my play style, uh, you can BFG. get... Exactly. You can get the Chicago Chopper and the BFG are both unlocked at level two uh, with Wizard Island. Now, of course, when you hit level three, you get the magazine upgrades for them, which is pretty fucking nice for the Chicago Chopper. Um, but with the BFG, it only has like two rounds. Now, still, two rounds of fucking 50 caliber sniper rifle ammo with the fucking BFG is, uh, you know, that's still two rounds of one shot kill ammo. So that's, it's nice, but it's not like critical to anybody's play style, I wouldn't think. Uh, so at level two, you get everything you need from Wizard Island. Uh, both of the things that you need from Wizard Island. And then uh, at level three, though, with Diamond Lake, that's when you get the top tier. I think Nitro is the last thing you unlock at level three, right? The, uh, the badass Nitro yes. It's the last thing you unlock there. So, yeah, in order to get all of the bike upgrades, you have to hit level three with Diamond Lake. But in order to get the two best weapons that Wizard Island offers, you really only need level two. Now, there are other weapons from Wizard Island uh, that a lot of people really like uh, that require level three. But they're not, you know, to me, they're not, like, necessary. It's not something I would recommend for someone, like, looking for beginner tips. Uh, we have to say hi to Tom the Juice Box Jameson. Tom the Juice Box Jameson. <laughs> and also Mad Arab is with us. Hey, Mad Arab. Welcome back. What's up, buddy? And we have to say good night to William McCraney. Hi, oh, uh, William. All right. You folks have a good night. I hear a bunk calling my name. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, William. Have a good evening. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Nicholas says, is the secret handgun recipe you get after finishing the game even worth finding all that tech? He's talking about the oh, IPCA God, no. tech. No. Uh, Not at all. Stun gun. Not even a little bit. It's, I, I would counter that it's worth it to do it once. For maybe fun. on your second yeah. playthrough. Exactly. For yeah. fun. For fun, sure. Just to, just to see what it is. Yes, but I actually, I, I recommend not unlocking it because i'm really particular about the way the weapon wheel is it set up it does change up how the weapon it wheel does works fuck up and your it's like wheel. fucking weird it's wonky it's, yeah. yeah it makes it go weird but it's fine on like a, a second playthrough maybe or yeah. something like that like, like you a know, new game plus or something yeah i was gonna say if you do a new game plus just mm -hmm. have some sure. fun have some fun with the game hey, Ricky, enjoy I'm all the guns that you get and all the money you can spend and all the bike zone. upgrades and yeah all the, the you get the bnd 150s on a uh uh, New game plus. No, I don't think so. So Sounds fuck like it, yeah, do it, uh, and then you'll worry. realize, yeah, no, it's not worth it. Out. Out. Job done. You gotta stop moving sometime. Ah! Yep, just pop in through the hole in the roof. <h <laughs> and oh, then bail. 
CJ says, I was surprised to see that the taser actually works pretty well on heavies. Just tried it to get today. Interesting. I did not have that experience with her. <laughs> Uh, Cap, is, Cap has quite a trolley question. Question to Rex. Yeah, yeah. Which is more annoying, the stun gun that messes up the weapon wheel or using the crossbow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to say the stu- I'm going to answer for you and probably say the stun gun is yeah, more annoying. I, and once you have that, it's permanent. It's there forever. The, the crossbow, you just, if you don't like it, just don't use it. Use something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the crossbow does have its uses. It does. It really does. I 100% agree. Oh, Mad Arab says, I finished the game a few days ago. Easily one of my favorite gaming experiences yes. of all time. Right Fuck on. Yes. Now, welcome to the community. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on finishing the game. Yeah, man. Uh, the weapon wheel, says Hufan, is terrible even without the stun gun. I constantly ended up with a weapon that I did not select. I can actually, yeah. can I give my little sure. tip about this? Fuck so yeah. I figured out a lot of people have this problem. I used to have this problem. The way you do it, if you're playing on a PlayStation controller. So fuck, I can, it's L1 to bring up the weapon wheel, right? Uh, I, yes. Yes. And then you aim in the direction of the thing you want to select. What you have to do is aim in the direction of the thing you want to select, then release L1, but maintain pressing the stick in that direction. Only for like a split second, but make sure you let go of L1 first. If you let go both at the same time, it might accidentally slip to a different direction. So keep pressing in the direction of the thing you want as you let go of L1. Who was that tip for? Uh, that was for the Who fan. I'm waiting for the Who fan to say, I play on PC. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're on PC, I apologize. I don't. Unless you're playing on a PlayStation controller on the PC. Uh, Cap says, I took way too long on that mission. And Animal Fries is with us, says, hey. I didn't know you could go through the roof. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Where? CJ says, hashtag Team Crossbow. Dandy Denny says, hashtag Team Crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yep. Nicholas says, I feel like the tech okay. gun messed up my SMP9 yeah. because of mm, that yep. and the suppressor are in a different yep. spot right next to each other yep. instead of yep. Yep. on the gun. Yes, yes, that is exactly what we're talking about. Well, hey, what Rex hey, is talking Ricky. about when he says that the, yeah, uh, exactly it right. messes up the what weapon wheel. Box that Lindy shit up. Some folks she was close to. Oh no, Tom Jameson. Juice, juice box ran out the Knob Creek. Oh no. But he ran out and grabbed a bottle of Maker's Mark. I think oh, nice. I will tilt the shot know. when I get the groceries yeah, okay. put away. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, Maker's Mark's good stuff, man. I like it. Uh, CJ says, never knew there we you go. could... Got level two. Hey. Never knew you could drop in the roof back there. Always got the keys and popped in and See, I didn't them know up. there were keys. I had no I, idea there were keys. I don't know. How, how did you know there was a hole in the roof, but you didn't know there were keys? It, it literally <laughs> spells it out. <laughs> you need to go I've, get keys. I've never done... I, I didn't know there were keys for that mission. I've never done any tracking there or anything. I heard the dude talking in the building, climbed up on the roof, dropped in, shot him in the face with a shotgun. And that's how I've done it every time since. Well, I didn't we, know there we was all another appreciate way. it. <laughs> um, Will says, I've never finished hey, the game. Uh, oh, I've wow. always got to the Joe. breaker fight and stopped so many <sighs> times. Oh, no. Dude, that's all I got I, you did watch that part tonight, right? You saw how we did that, right? It's all right there, man. Yeah, everything you need is right there. Yeah. Deek, deek, deek. <laughs> or you can go the route so of doing hey, just Blair, melee I'm skills and getting the executioner skill or something, but so the, that's a bit fucky. The Who fan does play on PC, but uses a controller for third-person shooters. There you go. Uh, keyboard and mouse for first-person. Yeah, me too. That's exactly how I do it. Uh, when I'm playing Days Gone on PC, I play on a controller, okay. but all other like first-person shooters and stuff, I always play <laughs> with uh, keyboard and mouse. Jay Stabby, sorry, Jay Stabby saying, Tom, Tom Jameson, we have a dealer for our winter products called Tom Jameson. Now, whenever my boss tells me to email Tom Jameson, my brain goes, you mean Tom Jameson juice box? Tom, yeah, right. <laughs> Tom the juice box Jameson. Ooh, level two saddlebags. Woo, woo. Yeah. We're yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. getting that. Better Captain tank. Cap yeah. Captain yeah. Caffeine says, Claire, down. follow the clues and tracking. Rex, here's red yeah. and goes in guns blazing. <laughs> uh-huh. CJ says the Rex way. Shoot him in the face. Leave. LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else can I get you? Uh, Will says yes. I did see that earlier. Thank you. Outstanding. 
Oh, the Who fan says I played it on PS4 and PS5. Okay. So yeah, that's the tip, is just let go of L1 first whilst still pressing in the direction on the weapon wheel of the thing you want to select. And also, as long as you're not playing on survival, you will see in the bottom left what you have selected. Um, so you just make sure to double check, because a lot of people do struggle with that. And I even had a glitch out in one of my videos, I have a blooper reel on my channel, where I clearly selected, like you see me select an attractor, and it changes to a grenade or something, and I ended up blowing myself up because I didn't realize that it literally, it, it, it glitched out. It wasn't, oh, I selected right, the wrong thing. Right, like it literally, yeah. you see it switch after I've already let go of the weapon wheel. It mm -hmm. just goes boop Click. to something yeah, else. I remember seeing that, yeah. And I ended up blowing myself up and mm -hmm. dying. That was fucking bullshit. I remember that, though. So uh, we just hit level two with Iron Mike's camp. And you saw the bike upgrades we were able to get. Like, pretty much every single component of the bike has an upgrade available at level two. The engine, the fuel tank, the frame, the suspension, the tires, the saddlebags, the nitro, all of that shit had uh, upgrades available. So hitting level two at Iron Mike's is one of the key points in the game where now you can really get out there and explore. You don't have to worry about the bike crapping out on you as often. You don't have to worry about running out of fuel quite as often. Uh, we've got good guns that we've unlocked from killing hordes and doing missions and stuff. Uh, we're, we're at a perfect point now to push forward in the story. And I think we've even taken care of all of the, uh, like all the camp jobs that are available. Literally the only thing that's left is to go do this mission, this uh, stealth Nero mission. That's it. That's all we have available right now. Captain Caffeine says, I can't tell you how many attractors I've wasted while trying to use a rock. Oh, God, yeah. And I was going to say, I can't tell you how many rocks I've wasted while trying, trying to use an attractor. attractor. <laughs> right. Yeah, Jay Stabby says the same. I want yeah. an attractor and throw the rock, and it's like, fucking shit. <laughs> CJ uses the rock stun on Freakers to prevent a lot of, uh, sorry, to prevent wasting ammo. Mm, uh, crack them with the yeah. rock and press triangle. Yeah, yeah. The uh, that's called rock on the ability that lets you stun an enemy by, enemy by throwing a rock at them. And I actually like that skill. I like that one because it allows you to get quote stealth kills on enemies that are already aware of you, which is useful for me because I don't really fuck around with stealth all that much. I'm shaking my head. <laughs> Un unearned stealth XP. I disapprove. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> Cap says, but rocks are free. I got to hunt down all the materials to craft those attractors. Exactly. Uh, old Lady D Geek says, so does anyone know if Instagram allows videos to be posted? Uh, I can help you out with that. Uh-huh. You are allowed to post videos of a minute or less in length. Uh, to your your profile. I think stories you can do longer, but it will split yeah. them up into different segments, and it's all fucking weird, so I don't bother with that. Um, but yeah, they have God, to be under a minute, or, or 60 seconds or yeah. under. Uh, she was telling us about a video that she made where she used remote bombs and a proximity mine or proximity bomb to take out all of the Metolius cave Ryan, lava horde oh, one of your beacons. during the mission with Iron Mike. Oh shit, are you serious? Yeah, before, you yeah, during the mission with Mirror Iron Mike. GPS, she sets the bombs it? before yeah, the mission, does, does the mission with Iron Mike, okay. and it blows up the horde during the mission. And does it actually take out the Metolius lava horde? I don't know. I was asking where we can see out. that video, and if, if she put it in the chat, I haven't seen it. I haven't been able to keep up with the chat that well. Uh, but if it, if yeah, I think she might be. Are you trying yeah. to figure out how to post that video for us? Old lady, if you can post it on YouTube oh, or if you can post it on Reddit, that will allow you to upload, upload um, videos. You'll have a, an easier time than trying to do it on Instagram. Yeah. And can we do it on the Discord even? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure how Discord works on that I'm stuff. I'm not sure. <laughs> Pops and Blades is with us, says, Try being cocky, walking up to a breaker just to throw a rock instead of a smoke bomb. <laughs> Where did you say you stand here? Isn't there like a good spot to be in the bushes here? Stay close to her. At this uh, one? Or am I just fucking it all up? Uh, you may have oh, I go in. 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 Yeah. In. 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 That bush. You'll have to right move. Turn your flashlight off. There you go. 
Uh, I always go in the middle so you can just like get the fuck out of the way. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I remember you mentioning that last time we were playing uh, in the same room. You'll want to make sure that they don't walk into you because one of them does cut Kinda through the bush. I can't through, remember if it's he halfway cuts through. The bush, through. Huh? He does. He like he gets all up in the bush. Gets all up in that bush. Uh, oh my he, goodness. Yes, yeah, he right now goes that way and then he'll. I, I wouldn't move any further because he does. He cuts across somewhere and I forget. He, does he a goes weird cut. towards oh her, but he will right. see you if you're in the wrong spot. But you're fine here because you can just. Yes. Yeah. Rotate around. All right, let's just, see where he goes. Just keep your eyes on him. I think he does come this way. So yeah, you'll okay. Have to skirt around. Let's see what he does. And next. then when you exit, go down that out way. the back way there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's go out way. the back door. Yep. I like going in the back door. Yeah, most people do. Just But you know, this time just go out the back door. Okay. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show the current. Discord only does small videos. Oh. Uh, says Cat. Yeah. I'm assuming it's kind of like Instagram, that it, it has like a time limit. So yeah, see you move now. So you go straight through the bushes. There you go. Peekaboo. Mm -hmm. You should be good now. I hate it when you get in the wrong place and it catches you right near the end of the conversation mm. and you have to do the entire thing again you're saying this was deliberate i don't know there we go that's not it is she done yeah okay time to get the hell out of dodge all right we're clear let's go Unfortunately, you can't come in this way. I wish you right. could, but you cannot climb up this little cliff you're about to throw yourself off. Yep. You actually can't reach this bit. <laughs> but it's excellent for leaving. Getting the fuck out. Sometimes yeah. I get caught on the way out, and it's like, God damn it, I'm already done with yeah, the mission. Like, right. just let me leave. Oh, cool. Level up. Babe, can we kill that AC? Uh, yes. Kill the heat, please. It's being a bit extra. Well, actually, it is actually chilly here tonight. Uh, so I'm sure the rest of the house is comfortable. But the stream room here, the office that we're streaming in, uh, we've coated the room with acoustic paneling uh, to cut down on echo and room noise and stuff in here. Uh, but it has made the room extremely fucking hot. It's We've basically just added a thick layer of insulation, so it's always hot in this fucking office. Which is nice for five minutes. Yeah, at first when you walk in from being <laughs> it's like, outside. Ooh, it's nice and cold, toasty, yeah. and then you're like... <laughs> actually, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but... Uh, <laughs> Nosy the cats, cats. Are, the cats are trying to break in. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I took my top off. I got so warm. I'm actually sitting here just in my bra. I'm just yeah, like, oh, it's so toasty. <laughs> 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 oh, you cats guys, are... you guys have no fucking idea how much trouble I'm having concentrating on this game <laughs> right now. Okay, <laughs> supreme I'll, concentration. I'll go get a trash bag and put <laughs> that on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cap says Discord only allows uh, small and short videos. Uh, requires the Nitro upgrade. Um, it basically you have to pay to oh, yeah, upgrade yo, fuck that. it. Fuck that. Yeah, anything that makes you pay for fuck them for free services for, for fuck convenience em. or whatever. It's yeah, like no fuck them. Uh, so I did want to point out here what we're doing here with the ranged skills. We now are able to get the head rush. Now I got I always get up the ante first again because that increases the amount of ammo that you can carry in the field. Having I, more ammo in the field increases the number of headshots you can make. Yes, what's up? Can you please go back to up the ante? Uh -huh. uh, so I forget who was asking this earlier, but if it applied to found weapons, it does say they're all ranged weapons so i assume yeah. that does include found weapons like weapons whatever you, you can up. if you're maxed out on the ammo for that weapon it's a higher max ammo yes yeah maybe it's like you're, yeah. you're finding guns that have a you know magazine upgrade or something yeah. like that <laughs> cap says rex okay the stream is done now <laughs> 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 Will says, <laughs> straight through the bush, right. she said. Ha -ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, old lady D Geek says it wasn't the whole horde, just part of them. It okay. takes days to set up enough bombs to get most of the horde, yeah. but I haven't ever taken all of them out. But in this one, I just set up 16 remote bombs. 
I see. Well, old it's lady, cool I that mean, you can. I mean, I didn't know you could. I think doing? she just needs to do her service to the community Ryan. and spend days setting up, like, a hundred remote <laughs> bombs or something. <laughs> uh, I think the game will only allow you to plant so many. Well, then proximity mines and other things. <laughs> just yeah, find a way, old yeah. lady Deaky. Find a way. Now that's really cool. That is awesome, yeah. Someone's at the gate. I can't wait to see it. Okay. Oh, Dandy Danny, it took me a second. I was like, Ghost Bee? Ghost Bee? So, uh, Boo Wasp? Ago, we oh, wait. Like <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Boo Bee? Two emojis. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, old lady, there should be a, an easy way to post it on YouTube. Um, it's actually... Top, top right, just click the little yeah. uh, like camera Boss, plus icon. And it's like, it I gives you a choice to either go live or upload a video. Yeah. Super easy. I can figure it out. It, it's not I'm hard. Here if you need me, man. Oh, you just shrugged it off. Joe's suggesting we get an AC window AC unit. I've thought room. about it. We, but that would literally be sitting in my lap, basically, because right. the window's right beside me. Yeah. And, literally I mean, we right have beside a me. window. We could just yeah, we could open crack the, the window. window. Yeah. I don't know why it's closed, honestly. We live in a quiet neighborhood. We do. Fine. Oh, I'm so I love living here. I love how quiet it is here. Sorry, sidetrack, but no, it's really great. My last house, I lived next to a liquor store God, yeah. in Inglewood, and right beside LAX. Right beside LAX, you know the um, and a football SoFi, stadium, the SoFi Stadium, which is the home stadium right of the here. LA Rams yeah, and the LA Chargers. I'm listening. And next to a liquor yeah, store. Uh, and right under LAX. In Inglewood. Yeah. <laughs> in Inglewood, yeah. In LA, so he was a little bit noisy. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on. See if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. Oh yeah, CJ says sometimes remote bombs randomly spawn just north of Lost Lake, usually they five do. to six. I've seen that on that yeah, little shack by weird. the water. I got Mars duty anyway this morning. Uh, oh no, old lady Deke, I was kidding. I'm sorry. She says now I feel like I should do a better video. Oh, well, okay. I do all of the work and set up the whole road with bombs. <laughs> well, it takes a lot of grinding <laughs> to find all of the supplies to make yeah. like 50 bombs. <laughs> Dandy Denny's laughing at my boo. Like we got a couple. <laughs> in the mud, I mean. Yeah, I've only seen that um, Here, the six take... remote bombs. All right. I'm you can do this can with rocks, by the way. That was oh, you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've only seen that once. <laughs> I don't love how easy this is. I didn't know you could do that. I've always busted out a weapon here. I saw someone on Reddit post something about it, and I was uh -huh. like, oh, that's so fun. Whoa. And now I do it just, just, just because, fun, yeah. Just because, like, you why know, not? It's, okay, it's like when you said you can use rocks to knock down the ladders. Knock down the ladders, yeah. Like, well, yeah. I, I, I mean, one bullet isn't going to make or break the bank, but... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, obviously, like we're going to use rocks now. <laughs> yeah. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over. Cap says I want Claire on my Pictionary team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. All right, get, get down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is why you brought me out of here. I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks. Yeah. <laughs> Caps says Deacon okay. with the biblical David method, and Dandy Denny says stone Follow them. Where the hell are we going? <laughs> I love how this bit looks like Deacon's proposing to I Mike. You just take a screenshot where it's just yeah, like, yeah. oh, sorry, I Mike is proposing to Deacon, like he's just down <laughs> yeah. on one knee, like, so are we gonna get married? <laughs> and Deacon just looks unimpressed, like, yeah, no, I don't think so. Just what the hell are we doing, Deacon? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling Even me about how the up. tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July... So I have to ask Old Lady Deke, what freaks. happens when you if set you up the bombs? What is that crossover on the left freaks, there? The it's the first groups, time I've noticed that. the ones that some that. call hordes. Oh, it's just a random great... Okay, the sorry. Don't get spotted. Get numbers down. What do you mean? I just in this room never seen that before. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Skizzle. But yeah, do they, Wars. like, get all agitated and shit? A few. Or does the, a few. Do the rest yeah, of them just continue? What happens? You get the bounties too, don't you? 
I seem to recall you mentioning that before that you get the bounties from it also. <laughs> Cap says, I am Mike proposing. Deacon it's riding Iron Mike as much as he rides his bike. God damn it. You've got to admit, they would make a cute North couple. They'd I be mean, like always that, arguing, that but like in a cute way. They would make an adorable way. couple, yeah. Yeah. south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Animal Fry says, I always wonder how this horde hasn't attacked Lost Lake, considering I know, right? how cl close their pathway is. And also the sawmill. I'm sorry, but the sawmill is like right fucking there. Yeah, right. That's a lot of freaks, man. Well, you got I guess they time. just have their feeding Lost zones and they're just trying. not in the direction of Lost yeah. Lake. I mean, the sawmill never leaves the sawmill. Right. They don't Every go anywhere. That comes through leaves but I'm like, how do the people of Lost Lake, let Lost Lake not see the sawmill horde and be like, um, yeah, somebody should go take care of that. <laughs> um, let's not be here. You don't need to see them to know that they're around. Figure out oh, a you're way pulling to me. Like, to I gotta, I gotta, I gotta harvest that. I gotta harvest it. <laughs> Make some headway. Reduce their numbers. Make it safe. Then you're never gonna use it. Free up more farm or sell it. Irrigation. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how do we I don't do mean that? With, with me, oh, I just, I harvest. Well, you can't like, take on a... I, 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 I oh, just stuff in whatever. general. I'm just like, yeah. I, I don't Put yourself I'm, in danger I know to I'm gonna get seen, but I've just gotta loot it. I gotta loot it. Yeah. How many times am I running away from something and I'm like, ooh, loot. Ooh, I gotta loot this body. They stand there all day, hibernating. So what are you thinking that we <laughs> Cap yep. says not sure what is worse, imagining Deacon and I Mike or literally there, anyone there, with Tucker. Bring down a mountain of rock, we seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. Not that there's anything that wrong with that. You don't get it. Well, anyone with Tucker? Cave. No, I Maybe think there's a lot wrong no with that. I feel bad for Tucker actually, because she did have a husband. Someone did love her at some point. You find the uh it's her husband's suicide note, right? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, right. he was. He had some illness, I right. presume you cancer or something attention. like that, and okay. took his own life. Come on. Let's head back. And uh, knowing that, it doesn't excuse Tucker and her behavior, but it does add some context right. to who she bit. is and how she up. just. Yeah, doesn't okay. want anyone close to her or need anyone close to her or whatever. She's so bitter and shit, twisted and an jaded. And spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them you kind of got to wonder. Not exactly. You know how he, it's not spelled out, but like how he did it, and if she was the one that found him. You know, kind of what does that do to a person? A few days ago, um, I was riding north of Belknap Crater. Again, not that it excuses being a fucking slave a trader. Chopper. What the hell? But it gives Listen you context. It was a black chopper. One of those yeah. Nero choppers. Yeah, I believe uh, uh, the suicide the note that you find at their house back. in Marion Forks says something the about he was in you know, in a lot of pain. I've been trying to and he'd been eating down. pain pills constantly and stuff. And right. uh, Oh, no, he mentions uh, telling his doctor you know that he was going on a trip. Uh, so he was got gonna need like an extra medication. dose of the, an extra, you know, uh, increase the prescription so he had more of them mm -hmm. uh, to be on the trip, air quotes, and the, the line you know the is it just wasn't the kind of trip that yeah. he was thinking. They had motion different kind of trip. Measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day and uh mike it was thousands Is that right they said freaks all up and down the cascade range joe South says i don't know i don't see Smith mike and Rock, uh deke and iron mike together there's too much father-son chemistry so uh for me to ever see caves. this romantic Maybe we have a few besides deke is too damn straight <laughs> <laughs> now boozer i don't know why but i can see boozer suddenly realizing he's bi <laughs> I, I i disagree i think there's there's plenty of like Good, solid father-son hey, energy between the two of them that they they would have an interesting like that, it's gonna gay dynamic. I think, I think it'd be uh, pretty fucking kinky. How we do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Boozer with his eighties, you know, jeans turned up at the cuffs and shit like that's he's. All right. 
<laughs> Sometimes I look at his outfit and I'm like, right, is he look, in the village people? I, do. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you not quite, me but like, in a couple of minutes. he just, he has, it's a very distinctive look. And I know where in we can an find earlier some. decade would have coded, I think, as being quite gay. I think so. I don't know. He, he just, it wouldn't surprise me if Boozer was gay. Not just a little bit gay, but quite gay. Yes, quite very gay. <laughs> And I mean, I don't fucking care. Like, Supposed yeah, to be up at the farm sure. an hour ago. My we'll get that dick, Boozer. I don't mind. <laughs> yes, Gizzo, about that. I'm get busy. it. See, <laughs> get it, son. And I, we're just heading out on a run. <laughs> you and I are Mike. You'll get your ass yeah, old lady D Geek says Tucker has a bit of human being under that bitter exterior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without a goddamn battle. Maybe it's all the tension between yeah, Tucker yeah, and our guy. It's because she secretly wants to be... Ada Turner. Ah. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes. For a bit. Oh, the Who fan. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. What's How up? about the suicide note from Bill's air quotes friend in The Last of Us? Fucking love that. Mm. See, that would be an I and Mike and Deacon type relationship where it's like <laughs> constantly <laughs> sort of outwardly <laughs> antagonistic, yeah, but yeah. really they really actually totally do care about each other, yeah. into each other and care for each other, and it's just they speak in a it's different. Like uh, then, then a language very, a very is, harsh love language. Yeah, <laughs> then language is like it's kind of like razzing on each other, but to the nth degree. Um, but they really, genuinely do care so much about each other. Uh, I, I mean, in in Bill's case, in The Last of Us, he just seems unable or un unwilling with Joel to admit that he's gay <laughs> and that he has lost someone it. that he cares for. But it seems very defensive, very... The whole relationship seems very defensive. That's kind of how he mm. is. It just is. He's, I'm just not going to talk about my feelings. I'm just not going to talk about, you know, love or whatever. Like, fuck that shit. It's fucking stupid. But he says that in a way of, like, that's on? how I tell you, you I, I love Deke. you. <laughs> how's my favorite bounty hunter? Blair, you are looking fine today. <laughs> CJ says Bill's all torn up. Meanwhile, Joel is like, who the hell is Frank? Uh -huh. uh, do all you right. think Joel knew? No, I don't think he knew him. Or knew that... Knew Bill about was... Bill and Frank. Or knew, knew that, that he was gay. or knew Yeah, that... probably. Because he... he doesn't seem at all surprised when he finds out who back. Frank is. He's like, absolutely no, like, yeah, so, and? Yeah, he's not like, like oh, oh. Either oh. just completely, like, this is not even relevant information just because it doesn't matter what their genders are yeah. or he's just like not surprised by it because he already knows so one thing I need to throw out there uh, god damn it I need to stay away from this gate here I do not want to trigger that next story mission uh, once you and Iron Mike go up to follow the Metolius Cave Lava Horde you can then uh, go take out that horde. They are now actually spawning in the world, and we can go take them out. So I've equipped my MG45, and we're about to go and do just that. I'm uh, going to catch up the chats. Um, <laughs> Joe says, like, I can just see Boozer going to the wrong club and feeling very at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Boris Lab is back with us. Hey, Hello buddy. again, Rex and Claire at home now. And Night Nurse has Night Nurse is like Nyquil mm -hmm. hasn't kicked in yet, so I'm here for the rest <laughs> of the stream now. Well, we will be with you until you fall into that deep, yeah. deep, yeah. dark purple sleep of Night Nurse. My God, whenever yeah, I take Nyquil, I'm like out for a solid 14 hours. I get all like weird if I get woken up early. It's uh, it yeah. really does uh, about that, Mike. I tried truck to me the him fuck in. out. I really did, but he, uh, um, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So <laughs> Will says Boozer would be the bear and Deke would be the cub. No. What I say. Bear and a cub. Oh, huh? that's Aww. horrible. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. <laughs> um, Thanks, Ricky. Cap says uh, Boozer and the bounty collector at Copeland's camp. Who's the... Oh, Jesse? Copeland's camp. Copeland's yeah. camp. Yeah, Jesse. Uh, Jay Sabby says, Excuse you, Cap. Deacon has his wife, Sarah, and his husband, Boozer, and they have a dog together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you've told us about your head cannon before. <laughs> yep. Uh, old Lady Deek Geek says, Maybe Boozer is a bear. I mean, yeah. Cap says, I got to admit that Deacon and Boozer oh, really man, loved their wives. Say, yeah. Say yeah. You get a Caves, little bit of insight into Joni, um, Boozer's wife. The outside, but the lava still flowed like buried rivers. Yeah, <laughs> right. Crazy old son of a bitch. 
And I like to think that's why Deacon, uh, sorry, that's why Boozer was the only one to show up at Deacon's wedding, because he, he got it. And we don't know how long ago Sarah and Deacon got married. We don't know. I think it's actually mentioned somewhere that Sarah did know Joni. No, I may be making that up. Um, I think that may have came up in a conversation. Was it with you, Dandy Denny, on the podcast? I think we talked about that, whether or not Joni and Sarah knew each other. Um, but there's a there they are. Okay, so the horde's here now. All we had to do was save and load. Yeah, there's a good chance that Sarah either knew Joni or maybe met Boozer after Joni had already passed. Um, but I think that that's why Boozer really gets Deacon's love for Sarah, because he had a similar love for Joni. And maybe having lost Joni before Deacon found Sarah, he was able to sort of transfer some of his... Um, romanticism and whatnot onto Deacon and like project it onto Deacon and Sarah's uh, relationship and that's why he thought it was so uh, so important that they you know have his support are you using my trick there to add to the explosion with a try it's, it's easy. not working put it down and then walk into it to corral it that's what I always do what is it wait what is it doing it never normally does that can you just drop it? Drop it. Just drop it. How do you drop it? There you go. Triangle. X. No, that was triangle was the only way I could get it to drop. Oh. Which I think you're right. I think you it just did X. that because I pulled out a weapon. Mm. Yeah. All right. That's all I really wanted. Joe says that cat that's a common thing with men of their type. The women in their lives are the only ones they can actually be vulnerable with, the only ones they can be 100% themselves with. So when they're gone, it's so devastating that they just curl up into themselves emotionally. Cap says Tucker is actually a complex character. Indeed. I think more complex than some people give credit for. Mm -hmm. uh, we have DJ Dynamix is with us. Hello, hey, DJ. DJ. Hello and welcome. <laughs> the Who fan says, but Joni loves Chachi. <laughs> Cap says that show really jumped the shark. <laughs> I get the joke, Cap. This little alley right here. I love. Oh, oh shit! I backed up too far. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I love using that little spot there, though. That's one of my favorite spots. This works pretty well too, but that upper one is my favorite. Get them all gathered back up. I feel like I want to be that girlfriend who's like boyfriend is getting in a fight at the bar and she's like, "Yeah, babe, fuck him up." <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him talk shit about <laughs> us. <laughs> 
Well, that went relatively smooth, I guess. It could have been worse. I mean, if you don't like stealth. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, Boris says the easiest way to drop a, drop a petrol can, a.k.a. a fuel can, uh, is safe, uh, safely is to simply choose any gun. I use this method to safely drop these cans uh, on top of high vehicles. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of what I did. I Kind of by accident, but I tapped triangle to swap weapons. Right. And that... Uh, successfully dropped the can, yeah. So, yeah, swapping weapons does work. That's how I did it just now. So, DJ Dynamic says, I know Spornicus, but who is the lady? Holy Hello. shit, man. You got to be kidding me. Hang on, hang on. Let me let me intro Aww. Let me introduce my girl here. All right. <laughs> Allow me to introduce. You'll, you'll go. Is that all I am? I'm sorry. I'm, go ahead. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Allow me to introduce my lovely partner in crime, Claire Weaver of the Days Gone podcast, AKA 8 bit terror of her own fame. Hello. Yeah. So, for real, if you are, if you know my channel, you probably know Days Gone. And if you know Days Gone, you need to know Claire Weaver of the Days Gone podcast. Aww. Or just the Days Gone podcast. I mean, if you're a fan of the Days Gone podcast, uh, sorry, if you're a fan of Days Gone, you should be a fan of the Days Gone podcast. Like, it's. Yeah. It's a passion project that started over a year ago. Uh, I love Days Gone. It's how you and I met. It nice. is, actually. The um, Days Gone podcast. Well, yeah. Reddit, the Days Gone subreddit specifically. Yeah, I moderate the Days Gone subreddit. I run the Days Gone podcast. Uh, I'm a fucking nerd for Days Gone. <laughs> and I also stream as well. I have my own channel where I, I stream. I'm 8-Bit Terror, uh, if you want to look me up. Um, but yeah. Uh, DJ says, yes, I played Days Gone like seven times. Awesome. Damn it. Yeah, I'm currently on my seventh playthrough, so uh, I actually, when I sat, came in and sat down earlier and saw this, I was like, oh. I want to play Days Gone. I haven't played Days Gone in a while, because I've been doing my morning streams, doing Fallout, and we've been playing Dying Light on Fridays, we play yeah. The Last of Us on Tuesdays, and on Sundays I play Blair Witch, and it's like, shit, I don't have time for any of the games. I'm on your channel on Wednesday nights, I run your chat for you, like we're doing right now. Um, so it's like, fuck, I don't have time for gaming outside of that. I also mm -hmm. uh, write for, for a living. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's like, shit, I, that's all the video, go video gaming time I have. And I haven't played Days Gone in ages. And I miss <laughs> it. I'm just like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it so much. It feels like home. <coughs> Excuse me. I know exactly how you feel because I've gone through the same thing of cycling through other games that I stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk for a second about oh, your schedule. Uh, if we have a, a minute to... Uh, <coughs> yeah, excuse me. You're doing all right? Your voice is kind of... Yeah, I'm pretty much done for the night. I mean, we can wrap up and, you know... Yeah, yeah, okay. Do that stuff, but... Uh, well, let me talk you through your schedule. Yeah, <laughs> if you would, please. That'd be so, great. Thank the you. schedule is in the description, uh, if anyone's interested. But you do... Let's see, you have... Days Gone on Wednesdays, Assassin's Creed Valhalla on Thursday, a.k.a. Thursday. Thursday. Rest your voice, oh, yeah. sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> you and I do a co-op of Dying Light on Friday. You have Sci-Fi Saturday, which is currently Mass Effect. And then rolling back around to the beginning of the week, you also do, on Tuesdays, we're doing The Last of Us. You and I have our collaborative stream, the Feedback Loop live stream. Um, we're currently doing The Last of Us Part 1, the PS5 remake which is just such a phenomenal game. I actually woke up early this morning to go play that game. I woke up at like, what time was it? Like half six? And I was like, it was uh, fucking early. Okay, the first words, I woke up this morning, the first words out of my mouth was, <laughs> God damn it, I forgot about that. Fuck. And you were like, are you okay? But no, it's not, you don't have to get up yet. And I'm like, no, I, I forgot to pick up that extra Molotov. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> This woman been laying there dreaming about video games. I did think it kept me awake half the night. I was like, fuck, I forgot that fucking machete. And then I woke up and was like, fuck, I forgot that fucking Molotov. So I'm back and I reloaded the way earlier save and was just replaying it. How far did you get? Did you I got up to the store commission and every time they ran at me and got one hit on me, I reloaded. Good lord. Because I'm just like, I'm not I'm not taking any I'm hits in man. that mission. I will <laughs> do that. Not with stealth. Uh, usually I do it with stealth, but it's not possible with stalkers because they already mm, yeah. know you're there. Yeah. But I will not do it with taking any damage. And I realize that Eek. I'm probably not going to use the machete, no so see. picking up the extra machete there Where isn't going to be worthwhile because I today. won't need it. So. <laughs> anyway, let's run okay. through the links real quick. Um... 
Uh, DJ, hang on, DJ says, I'm doing Survival 2 from the beginning, no special weapons, like, brand new playthrough is so hard. Yes. Indeed. Yep. Um, all right, so first of all, Joshmo, thank you for putting all this info in the chat there. Dick, um, please do, out. while you're here, please make sure to like this video uh, and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Liking the video, leaving a comment, it really does help the algorithm, so do our friend Spornicus Rex a favor and just hit like. Um, also, okay, so the first link we have up is yeah, buymeacoffee.com slash Spornicus Rex. If you want to support this channel, and if you want to see this channel grow, if you want to see more streams, more games, head over to buymeacoffee.com slash Spornicus Rex. That's where you can either do a one-time contribution, throw a little money in the tip jar, or you can become a channel member. Now, memberships are really the way to go. It starts at $1 a month, so that's just 12 bucks a year, uh, which is less than for a year than one month of Netflix. Like, that's a fucking sweet deal for all the content that Rex produces. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good deal. And you get perks. You get rewards for becoming a channel member, such as having your name read out in the sultry tones of Spornicus Rex. <laughs> Go ahead. Who are your channel members? All right, one second. My oh, voice is... <laughs> hang on, hang on. My voice is a bit rough. I'm going to hang on first. Hang, wait, 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 because we actually... We kind of like it when your voice mm. is a little rough. Yeah, I know. You like that little <laughs> bit of vocal fry. I know. Here we go. Listen to this. Check this shit out. These bad motherfuckers right here. Captain Caffeine. Basics of Pain. Boris Love 24-7. Sarah Monster. Floyd Rocker. James Guan. Jay Stabby. Catherine Jones. Honey Okashe. Obscured by Ink. Anton G. W.D. Henderson and Tom Moose. Fuck yeah, badasses one and all. Bad motherfuckers. Uh, so some other links that Joe's put in there. Uh, oh, you can also go to Patreon. Uh, there's also a Patreon. If you're a fan of Patreon, yep. if you have an account with Patreon, if you prefer to use Patreon, the exact same levels and membership perks and everything is set up there. Buy Me A Coffee does give a slightly better cut to Rex, so that is preferred. But if you want to use Patreon, it's still appreciated. Definitely still gets... Uh, some money in his pocket to help with, like I said, the equipment that he buys, the streams, the games that he streams. And you're actually, you have a little bit of a, a thing going on, a little bit of a, uh, um, I don't know, you're saving up money, let's say. You're, you're yeah. putting your pennies in your little bank. I have, I have a couple bank. of specific items that I'm working toward, yeah. Yeah, so if you want to contribute to buying new equipment for the channel, it's greatly appreciated. You can do so, like I said, buy me a coffee Absolutely. or on Patreon. Uh, Joe has a link in there for the Discord. Uh, go check that out. Come join the Discord. It's a fucking awesome community of people. Uh, it's basically like the live chat, uh, but 24-7. Yeah, yeah. And uh, check out the merch as well. You can get the official Spornicus Rex merch. You can also get three Days Gone inspired designs. You can get t-shirts, tanks, long sleeve tees, sweaters, pins, stickers, mugs, art prints, kids shirts, journals, notebooks, all sorts of good stuff. Go check it out, daysgonepodcast.threadless.com, and it ships internationally, so wherever you are in the world, you can rep your love of the game and your love of Spornicus Rex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Word. Oh, and Joe's put a link in there to my chat. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe. If anyone wants to check out my channel, there it is, 8-Bit Terror, uh, youtube.com slash C slash 8-Bit Terror. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I had fun tonight. <clears throat> we took out a breaker boss. We did a couple of camp jobs. We killed a horde. Um, we hit level two at Lost Lake and got the best of the level two bike upgrades. So yeah, we've we've actually made a lot of good progress tonight. We got a lot done. Um, uh, but that's it for me tonight, folks. Uh, I can tell my voice is flagging now. It's actually getting yeah. a bit rough, so I should shut this down. Uh, I would actually be perfectly willing to go a bit longer, but mm, I think it's not a great idea. One last comment. What's up? Uh, Boris says, perfect time in Rex. Your voice and Claire's are sounding the same to me now. The drugs do work. <laughs> great stream, Rex and Claire. All the best, everyone. Enjoy your good night nurse rest, buddy. Yeah, sweet dreams. <laughs> sweet drugged up dreams, Boris Lav. All right, folks. Enjoy your night, Will. Rock on. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Good night, guys. <laughs>